friends. So today what we're going to do is we are going to make some silly acorns. So let's see the supplies we need. We need um, crayons, we need markers, and we need paper. Um, so we are using half a paper. I need to cut my paper in case you have half a paper from last week. Go ahead, use that. If not, ask your mom or dad to help with cutting this paper in half, just like I'm doing right now, okay? So I have the paper and I have a whiteboard. If you don't have a whiteboard, you can have a scrap paper to practice draw this uh, icon, okay? So you'll be wondering why is Mrs. J drawing an icon? Um, today there was like a reason behind this when i think of thanksgiving i think of econ because when my daughter was small like when she was your age we used to make econ treats like with hershey kisses and um nutter butter cookies we used to put it together and then make uh econs and then the kids used to have it okay maybe you guys also have those um i don't know uh, what you uh do for like if you have a tradition like that at home but that was our tradition so i thought let's and she used to play with the uh treats like before she eat she, like, pretend that it's like a, a person and then play with it so i thought why not make a econ baby uh, or econ kid <laughs> Okay, so let's see how we do this. Let's place the paper in the portrait style. Portrait is when you're drawing a person, you draw place the paper this way. If uh, you're drawing landscape, sideways. So today we are going to place the paper this way. First thing that we're going to do is you are going to, um, on the top, you're going to leave like around this much space because this is if it's a paper you're going to leave like around uh, four finger space on top okay because this is not as big as a paper no it's bigger than the paper i'm going to leave like five finger space got it i'm drawing a line there i'm going to make a a rainbow so the rainbow should be going to the side so i'm leaving four finger putting a mark here placing my finger here four fingers on the paper maybe two fingers would be enough for on either side okay so like that and then we are going to make this rainbow i think it should have been a little bit more wider the rainbow so let's <laughs> turn this into maybe this line is there right so i'm going to make it a curvy line like that why are you doing this to me mr marker so i'm going to make a slight curvy line not a straight line but slightly curvy line and then i'm going to go down like that can you see the rainbow now so the rainbow is more flat on the top all right now what i'm going to do next is i'm going to make small u's like that and connect connected use so next what i'm going to do is i'm going to make a bigger u does it look like an icon now icon icons Native people used to have uh, make things with accounts and have it. Okay, so accounts, mm, accounts are edible. You can also have it. So uh, we have the thing. Now we are going to add a stem like that on top. Now we want to make this a cute little fellow, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add eyes. So 
So I will show you a few ways to draw the eyes, guys. Uh, two, some cute ways to draw the eyes, maybe this way. Maybe you can draw the eyes like that, right? Or maybe you can have the eyes, one eye is closed, one eye open like that or like this, then maybe you can draw the eyes this way. You can have one eye big, one eye a little bit small. So it's up to you, okay? So I have, so I showed you a few ways to draw the eyes. You can choose any one of this or you can come up with your own. I'm going to add a mouth to make him a little bit more cuter, right? Again, the mouth, you can add it any way you want. Should we add a nose to him? We can add a small nose like a U like that, or a L, okay? So it's up to you. Uh, the mouth, again, you can have it like this. You can add him like that. You can add the mouth like that with a teeth sticking out um, or you can have him with a big smile okay so i'm just going to make it a simple mouth then i'm going to add two legs and two hands Okay, now let's make this, add a little more details to here. So it's like where we, uh, like use connected together. Can you see that? Yeah. So your cute Econ baby or Econ kid is done. Now let's see how we color this. One second. Okay, hold on. So let's take the paper and we are going to, do you think you are ready? Oh, sorry. You are ready to draw um, the Econ babies or the Econs? Uh, if you are, you can take the paper and I'm going to take my pencil. I'm going to put five finger space on top. No, the four finger space on top, make a line. On either side, two finger space two finger space and the top is going to be a little bit flat remember so before I start I make a curve straight almost straight curvy line like that and then I'm going to come down to here so my three fingers should fit inside the uh, this okay see how long it is Now, we are going to make those curvy lines like that for the icon. Now, let's make the, uh, the face, right? Or the body. It was, it was more like a head, right? So, it is like the a hair and this is the head. So, how long? Um, I'm going almost till here. I'm leaving like three finger space on the bottom for the legs I'm going to make a it can be either a con uh, can be like a U or not a U um, a V it should be more of pointy okay so it's okay now yeah, the stem. Doesn't this look like a hat for a cute little kid? Right? So now you guys can decide how you're going to draw the eyes. Then 
if you are adding the mouth or no, the nose if you don't add the nose it's also fine okay my friends i added a mouth and then you can add the little more details like you 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 connected use got that now let's add the legs so do you want him to be dancing or running away so i just made this like a v and then put the leg here to make it look like he's dancing or you can have both the legs up to make it look like he's jumping right the hands one up so we have the icon kid ready okay so we're going to take i'm taking my black marker you guys are going to take the black marker from your uh, marker box and then you're going to outline all the lines okay this little hat is done i'm adding the details to his hat we'll pretend that this is his hat and this is the all the details on his hat let's draw his face after we finish his head okay i'm going to leave a little shine in his eyes Just adding a little shine looks nice can you see i'm going to draw his big eyes if you want to add an eyebrow eyelash all that works okay it's up to you let your imagination work kids have the biggest imagination remember uh kids when if they get they can even play with whatever they have if you get a pencil and a marker you can imagine that it is something uh maybe it's a person with a hat or something and then you put in and play with that right others are boring people adults like me especially me i can't imagine things <laughs> much i'm like uh think of thinking of like you can come up with stories and stuff right that is how you should be anybody should be i wish i'm a kid your age i could i have all this imagination like you guys so now let's um erase up the pencil lines okay and then what i'm going to do is i'm going also going to draw a horizon line running behind him so when i reach this icon boy or a girl or whatever i'm going to jump over to the other side and continue okay if you want to add any details to your background go ahead add whatever you want maybe this uh icon is playing with a ball you can or i don't know i don't have imagination remember <laughs> whatever you feel like adding uh you can add um maybe this i'll add a little few grass the weather is getting cold that's why he has a hat maybe there are leaves on the ground maybe if you want you can add a sun okay so let's outline all these things
this Mr. Sun is also ha has a face. <laughs> okay. So now is the time to color. So let's take the crayons. Small things you can color with the marker if you want. Uh, bigger areas, it is best to color with the uh, crayons. So is there any small areas? Maybe you can color his shoes with them. I'm going to give him some red shoes. You guys can cut, you give him whatever color shoe you want. I'm going to color this part of the ball red. I'm going to take orange and put for this side. I'm going to use, that is yellow. Don't we have a yellow? Where did I lose the yellow from? Oh, there is. Yellow. Okay, maybe you can even color the sun. Yellow. Right, so next, um, the icon this part of the icon you can color it um, using natural color or what would be here it would be a dark brown okay so you can use a dark brown to color that or it's a pretend thing right so you're pretending that's a, a icon kid so maybe this is and we're pretending that's a hat you can use any color for the kid's hat Oh, I took brown. See, I don't have much imagination. You guys use your imagination and give your icon kid a fr friend a whatever color you want. Okay. So I'm going to finish this. what color so for the face again you can use any color you want because I use this color I'm going to use tan here okay to make it look more natural so that all of you know that this is an icon that I'm drawing to his cheeks because he's playing outside and it is a little windy and cold okay so now I'm going to color the ground uh, green I'm putting this like this and then coloring and we are coloring in the same direction try not to get on the icon I'm going to put this on the side and then color this. I 
have a small piece. If you have a small piece, you can color it this way. Otherwise, you will have to be, you are going to take a little bit more time than me, but you will be done in no time. Okay. See how it looks now. I hope you guys had fun making this Econ kid with me. And um, I hope you guys are, will send me this so that I can see how this Econ kid looks and what he's, uh, what he or she is playing with. Um, so do send your art with your name, grade, um, and your school name in the email ID I'm going to put at the end of the video. And um, Thanksgiving is coming, right? So I hope you guys have a fabulous time with your family. So till we meet next time, bye-bye.